We are Team Fern Download, and this is our entry to the PA Raspberry Pi Competition 2019. Using a car to go to school, travelling on a place to a holiday, or catching a train to see family, these are everyday things that people do that most of us take for granted. But there are a group of people who are doing anyway is much more of a daily struggle. In the UK, 1% of the child population, around 120,000 children, have Autistic Spectrum Disorder, or ASD. Children with ASD are four times more likely to suffer from anxiety than typically developing children. This can lead to a range of issues, particularly when travelling or going somewhere new. Children with ASD can struggle when travelling as it can break routine and structure that they are used to, causing them to become more stressed and make it a more negative experience for both them and their carers. This year's PA Raspberry Pi competition brief was to design an invention using a Raspberry Pi computer to transform the experience of people in travel and transport. We choose to engineer an invention that would aim to transform travel for autistic children and their carers. We base the features of our design on four main principles used to best support ASD children to reduce their anxiety. Introducing Travel TED, an interactive travel companion for young children that provides fun and, co and companionship. Travel TED is an interactive teddy bear. He has five coloured LED buttons, one on each paw and one on his tummy. These are used to control all of his features. On his back, he has a backpack attached to containing a Raspberry Pi computer and a rechargeable power source which powers the bear. This means he is completely mobile and can be played with like any other toy. Any inbuilt, an inbuilt speaker inside his head allows him to communicate with the child. Research shows that ASD children can suffer from sensory overload. This includes choice of colour in toys. We therefore chose a brown teddy to house the computer as this is a colour suited to these children. Now we are going to show you how the different features program to make it work. The entire programming of Travel TED was done in Python 3.0 and composes of, of around 560 lines of code. We've had to program the computer to load up Travel TED's program without any input devices or screen. Once switched on, the Raspberry Pi loads and runs the Travel TED program. Once he's loaded up, he greets you and asks you to pick one of the five transport modes. Hi there, it's time to have fun as we go to different places. How do you want to travel today? Car, train, bus, plane, or boat. The child simply presses their choice and the bear goes to the poor options menu. At this stage in the programme, the bear explains the four different poor options to the child. The music poor, the story poor, the game poor and the comfort poor. To change the transport mode from the previous menu, the child can press the home button on its tummy and it takes back to the transport menu. But Wow, this is going to be so much fun. Press my blue paw to hear some music. Want to hear an amazing travel TED story? Press my red paw. If you want me to help you feel better, press my green paw. Press my yellow paw if you would like to play a fun game. We will now explain what happens in each port mode. Music is key in helping provide comfort, comfort to children with ASD. The music paw has been designed to play a playlist of music in the bear. Like all children, ASD children can have a broad taste of music. The program calculates the length of the audio files in the music folder that allows any length of music to be used. By doing this, our program allows the music list to be customised and uploaded into the bear. We will show how to customise functions of the bear for different users later in this video. Do not be a distraction to the carers or people nearby. A set of headphones can be attached for the audio jack to be used by the child. It's time to relax and listen to some music. The music can be stopped at any time going to the poor option the menu once again. One way of helping prepare ASD children for travel is something called rehearsing. By speaking to the child about what to expect, such as how to go on a train or what to expect on a bus, the child becomes more reassured about how the trip they're going on. This is what's inspired by our story pool. The story pool plays a specific 
Travel Ted story about the transport mode selected. For the example, if bus mode is selected, it plays the Travel Ted story about a going on a bus ride. We wrote 52 minute Travel Ted stories in, in creating the device all are recorded and saved in the Raspberry Pi. The story port is an ideal mode that allows the carer of the child to upload a specific story or explanation of an actual trip or holiday they may be going on. This will allow the child to hear from the Travel Ted stories about their next adventure and help the child feel even less anxious. The program creates the length of any story audio files which allows them to be as long or as short as needed. Today is going to be a brief day. Ted is going to go on a boat. Ted was going with his mummy and daddy to the boat island. She was pretty nervous, but his dad said it was going to be really fun. After parking the car, Ted and his family walked towards the sea boat. They carried the mummy's hand and they walked across the water. The story pool will play until the story, till the end of the story, or can be stopped by pressing the home button on its tummy. Like all children, those who have ASD like to have fun, and so we designed an interactive game pool as part of the game pool mode. The game pool is a simple Simon copy game, which flashes a pool and asks the child to copy. Each round, it builds on the sequence up to five buttons congratulating the child. Now it is time to play a fun game on our child. My boys will flash and set an over. Watch and see if you can copy me. Yellow. Yellow. You got one right. Well done. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Red. You got another one right. Yellow. generates a random set of buttons to press each time it is played, meaning there are over 3,000 variations in the se of the sequence. This was by far the most difficult part of the project as the game function contains many loops within loops and, se and selection statements. At each stage, the bear congratulates the player with how far they have gone. The game exits if you finish or the home button is pressed. The National Autistic Society website explains how important it is to support those with ASD with empathy by providing comfort. This helps reduce anxiety and stress. The comfort paw is a unique feature of our device that plays to the child reassuring and comforting phrases specific to each type of transport. Each time the comfort paw is activated the program selects one to five different phrases from a bank of available eight. It then, it then plays them. It's also programmed to not repeat any of the phrases within a single sequence. Here's an example of the button being pressed. I love being with you when I'm on the bus. I feel so safe in the bus with you. Thank you for being with me. Once again, the programme calculates the length of the audio file used and this allows the carer to add their own voice to the statements. This may provide additional comfort for the child if they were staying away with other family members in respite care as they can hear their parents' voice when they wanted to. Once it plays the sequence of phrases, it returns to the poor option menu. To switch off the bear, we have programmed it to switch off if the home button is pressed for more than three seconds. Note, if we are turning the Raspberry Pi off safely without the use of normal input devices or a screen. I've had so much fun today. See you soon. Travel Debt Ted is ideal in supporting ASD anxiety sufferers in their travels. By providing fun, comfort and companionship, 
Travel TED will reduce travelling related anxiety for children with ASD and allow their careers a more positive experience when going places which many of us take for granted.